What is up Stack and Ohana, this is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel and another video. And in today's video, we are gonna go ahead and show off everything I picked up in silver this week. Uh, normally I would do the $10 a week challenge, but I have ran out. That was my last $10 challenge coin right there. And I was gonna upgrade to the $15 challenge, but I was unable to get anything. So until I can actually acquire some silver for the $15 a week challenge, I'm just gonna show off my weekly pickups in silver. I figured that would be a good uh, thing to do in the meantime. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. And first I want to show off a package that I received this week from our friend Gunnar Gunderson from the island of Great Britain. Now what did he send me? Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. It's a whole package full of cool things. And he says, Dear Aloha Stacker, I'm sending out packages of coins in the next few months to some of the channels I love and that are themed to their background. As you are Navy, I've sent you a great book that is connected to the coin. So... What he, this book right here is what he sent me. It's called. It's by Charles Lamb, and it says, War in a String Bag, the classic account of World War II's most daring heroes, the men who flew the swordfish. And I'm going to tell you what, my friend, I cannot wait to read this book. This is really cool. I'm going to be traveling soon, so when I do my traveling, this book is, on, is coming with me to read. So thank you very much. And he says, with a coin I've sent you, uh, I'll send you a key ring and a flag connected to my service in the British Army. So he sent me this key ring right here, which says 3rd Military Infantry Battalion Army. So our friend Gunnar was in the army and he sent me, it looks like his flag for his type of, his unit, which says Intelligence Corps Manduet Cognito Verez. And I'm guessing that's Latin. I don't know what it means, uh, but it is pretty cool. So Gunnar, when you see that, you can let me know what exactly that means in the in the comments thank you very much so beautiful and it also and he also sent me a flagpole mount so that's really cool so i'll have that mounted in my next video and i'll have it hanging in the background somewhere my friend and it looks like i also got a coin here and let's let me finish the letter and then we'll get to talking about the coin so as far as the coin features one of my favorite admirals and uh whose name is andrew Brune cunningham known to known as abc to his men it's a part of history of the royal navy set made up of 18 coins. I hope it's the 0.975 sterling. As you are in the Navy, I hope you like it and will spend many hours Googling the Battle of Cape Matapan, plus Toronto. Thanks for the wonderful content. Regards, Gunnar Gunnarsson. Thank you very much, my friend. That is really cool. Let me pull the coin out and I'm gonna go ahead and set this stuff aside so that we have room to talk about the coin and the video. Now, unfortunately, after taking a look at the coin and doing a little bit of research, it is the clad version. Uh, it is the clad version. Let me go ahead and do a zoom in so we can take a look at this coin. This is a beauty. We'll, we'll start with this side because as usual, and it says Elizabeth II, Bailwick of Jersey, 2005. And on this side, we have a picture. It says the history of the Royal Navy, five pounds. You got Ad Admiral Andrew Cunningham, 1883 to 1963. And uh, in the back, we have some ships. It looks like we have a plane up in the up there. So it's very cool. It's a portrait of the man himself. Uh, I was unable to find a mintage on this coin. So uh, I think uh, the silver ones do have a proof, but I did all the tests for silver. Unfortunately, it is a cloud coin. It's copper nickel. So cupro nickel or whatever they call it. But uh, it's still a really cool coin. And I still dig it and I like it a lot. So I thank you very much for the wonderful gift. It is a beauty. So Gunner, here's to you, my friend. So we'll go ahead and set that up. We'll zoom back out. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next coin. And this one I was able to acquire at Silver Husky's last auction. Now, he's no longer doing auctions, so he could focus on his metal merchant. But uh, I was able to acquire one really cool uh, coin that I had, been, I had my eyes on for quite some time. That's a cool sticker. And uh, it's this one right here. So let's go ahead and zoom. And there it is. So it's another British coin. It says two pounds, but what's so special about it? It's queen. So this coin is actually uh, in a series called the Legends of British Music. There were only 25,000 of this coin minted. Now, this is an absolute beautiful coin. Now, Queen is one of my favorite rock bands of all time. Don't Stop Me Now is my favorite Queen song, and Killer Queen is my second favorite Queen song. I'm a big fan of Queen. Queen, in fact, was the very second CD I ever owned, and it was the Queen's Greatest Hits. But if you look in the coin, it looks like we've got a piano, a guitar, a bass guitar, a microphone, and a drum, and the drums. So signifying all the instruments in, in, the, uh, in the band. 
And also, if you notice, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but you see these notes right here that are brandished right here? Those are actually the beginning, the intro to Bohemian Rhapsody. So that is pretty cool. Let's see, is there, and uh, that's about it for the coin, but it is a, it, it does have a reeded edge. So, and it, and the, and the coin is in immaculate condition. I know the capsule is not, so you see some scratches, but I don't really feel like taking it out, but this is one awesome coin. And uh, it's cool to represent a band that I am a big fan of. Uh, I think their music is fantastic. The notes that the, uh, the lead singer, Freddie Mercury, could hit, phenomenal, just phenomenal. Rock stars, all of them. So, very cool. So thank you very much, Silver Husky, for giving me the opportunity to get this coin. I have wanted it for a very long time, and now it is in my collection. So thank you very much. <laughs> all right, moving on. So next we have uh, a, a giveaway one. So And this is from Silver Bowl 30 and he says, Dear Aloha, thank you so much for supporting me. Congrats on winning. Please let me know when the when the beauty arrives. Your friend, Silver Bullion 30. Well, I haven't emailed you yet, but you do know that I got it because we were both tracking it together because we were so concerned and why it was taking so long because unfortunately this coin had gotten delayed. But here it is. He, I won a slabbed 19040 MS61 Morgan Silver Dollar. And look at that luster. That is a straight up beautiful, beautiful coin. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, other side. Look at that. Check out the breast feathers, they're perfect. I don't see any flaws with this. I don't even know why it's an MS61. That seems unusual to me that it would be even ranked that low. I don't see any. I don't see anything wrong with this coin whatsoever. I mean, there are some bag marks, but that's normal. Usually you don't lose too many points for bag marks, at least that I know of. Is that a f fingerprint on it? That looks like a fingerprint inside the case. Check that out. Could be. Man, NGC did that. Boy, that'd be pretty that'd be a pretty bum, big bummer. But anyway, so the 1904 O had 3,720,000 minted, so not too many, and who knows how many are actually left because with Morgans, you just don't know. So it's a beautiful coin, an excellent win. I really appreciate it, uh, Silver uh, Bull 30. He does, he focuses very heavily on Morgan Silver Dollar, so if you are a Morgan Silver Dollar fan, check his page out and, uh, and follow him. Uh... He's got a great channel, uh, lots of up and coming cool things on, from his side, especially on the Morgans, because he's got so many. He's got a great collection. So my friend, thank you again very much. And let's go ahead and move on to the next coin. Let me go ahead and, let's go ahead and zoom real quick. Let's go ahead and get this on display. We gotta get our queen coin on display. Right on. Okay, so the next set of coins that I have are all from our friend Juice Stacker. Now I did a trade with Juice. Check out his new, new, new sticker, by the way. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so I did a trade with him. I, I traded, I had an extra two, two ounce Queen's Beast Lion of England, and he had an extra Intaglio Mint coin that I had my eye on that I thought was pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show this to you. And I have a nice little uh, thing to read about the coin itself, but let me go ahead and get the zoom going. And let's go ahead and take a look at this beauty. Check this out. Memento Mori. Nice reeded edge. And on the back, it says Carp Diem, or Seize the Day. It looks like we've got a uh, skeleton, a Grim Reaper, kind of like a Grim Reaper sitting on a horse riding. So, uh, but this is a really awesome coin. So let me go ahead and give a read about this series. Now, this is the Allure series. And it says, During the time of ancient Rome, legend has it that a general returning home after being triumphant in an important battle paraded around the entire city celebrating his victory. He received accolades, congratulations, and compliments from the crowds. For a moment, the general felt a great deal of pride and intense arrogance. At that moment, a slave, who would have otherwise gone unremembered, said in a low voice, so not to be heard by anyone but his master, uttered the words, Memento Mori, remember that you will die. So profound and obvious that it remains important in Western culture even to this day. The concept of Memento Mori may seem overtly morbid to our sensibilities, but mindfulness of our own morality, mortality is key to making us realize the importance of making the most of, our, of the time that we have on earth. Quintus Horatius Flacus, also known in the English-speaking world as Horace, was the leading Roman lyric poet during the time of Augustus. For Horace, mindfulness of our own mortality was key to making us realize the importance of the moment. Remember that you are mortal, so seize the day. Carp diem. Carp Diem is part of Horace's injunction, Carp Diem, Com Minimum, Credula, Postero, which appears in Odes, P 
published in 23 BCE. Now this coin contains two troy ounces of triple nines fine silver. The word memento encircles the top field and the word mori on the bottom, on the bottom field. Separated by artistic flourishes surrounding a skull in the center, surrounded by items significant to the phrase, including the hourglass at six o'clock. A crown skull with wings of good and evil depicting the, the ascent to heaven at 12 o'clock, skulls opposing three and nine o'clock, an extinguished candle, dice uh, showing a roll of seven, a snail, and a flower. Now in the reverse, the words carp encircles the top field and the word DM in the bottom field. Separated by artistic flourishes, surround and draped skeleton mounted upon an apocalyptic horse wielding a medieval spiked flail. So that is pretty freaking cool. Now I know Juice is a huge fan of these coins. He just had this one as an extra, but he has he has pretty much the whole collection. So you should probably check his videos out if you want to learn more about the Momento Mori series because he's got them all. I'm gonna go ahead and put that coin down. And we're gonna go ahead and show off a bunch of other coins that I was able to actually pick up from Juice Stacker as well. Uh, he, uh, he was doing a sale and he hooked me up big time because I got some really good stuff. And the first one I'm going to show you, and now these are all, you know, these are all, uh, most, they're all bullion coins and they're all circ kind of not really circulated, but they're kind of used and abused. So I'm not really worried about touching any of this stuff. Uh, but the first one we have is a 2020 Korean Phoenix. Now this is a metal and it's from the comms co mint and it's got the Phoenix on it. And, and of course it's got the really cool, uh, Security features, if you see, it's got uh, the Korean writing there. Not even really sure what it says. So, uh, but but uh, I know Expat Stacker is a, is a collector of all coins Korean. So head over to his channel if you want to learn more about the Korean Phoenix and other cool Korean coins from the Comsco Mint because he has probably done a video on every single one of them that he has. And I know he has this because I'm pretty sure I remember him talking about it. If I can find a link to the video, I'll put it in the description. Now what we have here is, now so the phoenix is also known in Korean as Bong Huang, and it's imaginary bird praised since ancient times. The phoenix represented the emperor, nobility, and auspiciousness. And since 1967, the phoenix was used on the presidential seal of South Korea. And on this side we have, it says Republic of Korea, We've got the two phoenix, Comsco, one ounce, fine silver, triple nine. So beautiful coin. Absolutely beautifully stunning coin. It's got a few milk spots on it, so I'm not so worried about touching it, but I wanted to show you how beautiful this coin actually is. Let me see if I can get it more in the light so you can check that out. That is pretty, that is a very beautiful coin. So thank you, Juice Stacker, for that one. Now let's go ahead and bring out the next one. Now this one, I think it's just absolutely cool. Now this is just a standard bullion coin called the Prospector. And we have a man standing there doing his gold prospecting in the mountains somewhere. He's got his, his mule. Uh, he's got his gold pan and his... Uh, his pickaxe and then on this side we have an old west town and you know me i love my westerns i love my old west and check that out that is awesome i love the design of this coin this is absolutely phenomenal it's so detailed so i got you got the miner the prospector i mean and the old west town beautiful i don't know who made it i believe this is a provident coins uh provident metals coin that they that they're one of their bullion coins I know they had one for the Prospector on one side and the Pony Express on the other, and this is just one of the series, but it's pretty awesome. And I couldn't, but I couldn't find any mintages on this. So if anybody knows how to find mintages on some of these bullion coins, let me know. Uh, but it's not that important because it is a bullion coin. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Next we have a Badlands Bullion Guns, Gold, and Rock and Roll, established 2014 with a skull on it. And on this side it says one ounce, triple nine fine silver with a bunch of skulls. It kind of looks like a poker chip. So this is a pretty, pretty awesome coin. Now this was minted by the Sunshine Mint for Badlands Bullion. Now here's the crazy thing. Badlands Bullion was one of the largest pawn shops in the world. It was once dubbed the Disneyland of pawn shops. It was located in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and it was 70,000 square feet. It had 14, it had a 14 live firing range. It had a foundry, a radio station, a tattoo parlor, and a casino. Isn't that crazy? They had all that inside the pawn shop. That's crazy. So I've never, I'd never even heard of it until I researched this coin and I sure as heck uh, don't know. Uh, I guess it's closed now. I couldn't find any other information at the time. Uh, so if anybody has ever heard of it, uh, let me know if you've ever been there. That'd be pretty cool information to find out. But this is a pretty cool bullion coin as well. Now moving on, the next thing we have is an awesome Silver Shield coin. And uh, this is only my second uh, in the Silver Shield series. This is a 2023 nines fine. 
And this is their newer logo, so that is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. So that's a pretty awesome coin. And on this side, we have Freedom. So we have the Freedom Girl. Now this is an interesting coin because this is a, a modern remake of the Peace Dollar. It's supposed to be Lady Liberty with her wild free hair, pierced ears, and a tattoo on a shoulder to signify more of a modern age uh, Peace Dollar or modern Lady Liberty. So it's a very beautiful coin, very detailed, very well done, very well designed, and it's only my second one. So uh, I do plan on grabbing a whole bunch of Silver Shield coins as I see them come up and with designs that I like. I do like their Pieces of Eight, uh, their Pillar Dollar one. I do plan on eventually getting that one along with a few other ones that I've seen that I think have really great designs. So that's a cool coin. Let's go ahead and move on. Now next we have uh, five 2020 Canadian uh, Maple Leafs. Uh, I was able to get these uh, at a pretty decent price from our friend Juice. So $5. Now these are all just... Uh, Bullion coins, some of them have little scratches on them, some of them have little milky spots, so no big deal. They're four nines fine silver, and look, at, there is five of these beauties, and you know me, I like to hear my silver. Beautiful. <laughs> so, very nice. I got five of these beautiful coins. We've seen those a million times, so I don't, won't dwell on them. I'll just give you a quick, beautiful look of the way they look. There you go. Perfect. We'll set those down. And last but not least, we have three Libertads. So you can't ever have a silver week without picking up a Libertad. So first we got the 2009 right there. And 2009 had a mintage of 1,650,000. This is an extra for me. It's got some spottiness. Uh, this is will be open for trade for any of the years that I'm missing as we discussed in the live on Wednesday. So that's a 2009. And then I also had, was able to get a couple 2019s. So these are also uh, not in perfect condition, but they're very nice. And there's only 402,000, so a rare year, 2019, up for trade for years that I'm missing. And real quick, what we'll do is, let me pull up my, my, my missing years. Here we have, looks like we're missing 91, 92, 96, 98, 04, 06, 07, 11, and 18. I was able to grab another five that I now have in trade or on the way. So I'm down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine more I need to fill my dance go book. So if you've got any of these years that you want to trade, now they can't be slabbed. I need to be able to put them into my dance go. So those are the years. So as you see that, you know the years that I need. If you've got them, hook me up. Give me, uh, shoot me an email and let's trade. Seriously. I hope we can trade and make a deal out of that. So what do we got? So here is today's, here is this week's silver gains. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That is all the silver I got this week, and I hope to show you what I've got next week coming. Join me for um, History Mondays. We're going to be talking about Galileo, Galilei. So that will, should be pretty awesome. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday and a great week ahead, and I will see you all on Monday. Aloha and mahalo.